But the one thing that you want to do, which I didn't do before, see how I trim the corners off? Because you'll get some overfoiling on there. And you push this, once this, this one's green, to heat up the plate, you push this button. But I've already been working with this plate, so I don't really have to wait for this light to go out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the cradle for the base. And I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it up. And these do get hot, but not so hot that you can't touch it. You don't wanna leave your hand on there because you can um, burn yourself. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this paper there. And then I like to use a little bit of washi tape to keep my paper in place. And I don't put the paper on it until I have it up here on my platform. Take this. I go ahead and kind of use this as my guide. I tape it on there, rest it on, and then I'm going to take my plates. And then I'm just going to run it through. And you want to run it through slower than you would a die because to get even coverage. And then I'm just going to run it back for two reasons. One, it's easier just to grab it from the side, and the other, just you know, run it through one more now, time. Now, does this part of the unit get hot? The bottom part? You can touch it. It does get warm. It's just like any other apparatus. You know, you're, it's going to get a yeah. little warm. Yeah. And it does have a safety feature, which is great because I have left and left it on, and it turns off on its own once it knows that you're not using it. It has a memory in there. See how beautiful that is? And this one